thanks to Spring Free Trampoline for sponsoring this video. Y'all, it is my favorite season right now. It is fall. Maya, what's one of our other favorite fall things to do? Making Crock-Pot hot cocoa. It sure is. Every fall, right before Halloween, is we do a Halloween costume reveal. Another tradition that we do every time Halloween rolls around, and that is that we like to boo our neighbors. Thanks for tuning in to Tic Tac Toy Family today. Y'all, it is my favorite season right now. It is fall. The air is crisp and cool and I am in my happy place right now. It is October and it literally went from like 80 degrees all of last week and then all of a sudden today, it dropped down to 62 degrees. I was so excited to pull out my sweatshirt, my cozy sweatshirts and just be outside and enjoying this beautiful, beautiful evening with the family. Addie, we've got something brand new in our backyard. Mm -hmm. Just been here a couple weeks, what is it? We just got a brand new spring-free trampoline. It has been our new favorite backyard toy. It really is. As the name suggests, our brand new trampoline is spring free, which means it is super safe. We can let the kids come out, they can burn off a bunch of energy, jump, just have a blast, and we don't have to worry about them because we know that they are safe. I love this trampoline because it's super bouncy, and I've been on a lot of trampolines, but none of them have been this bouncy. <laughs> so it's a uh, big thumbs up for you? Yeah, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, all right. Three. <laughs> of course, we use our trampoline for jumping, which you can see right now, but we get really creative with our trampoline. We come out and Addie has done homeschool work on the trampoline. The girls will come out and chalk on it and create chalk art and we just hose it off or when it rains, it rains off. And one of the things we've really been contemplating is maybe even doing a sleepover on our trampoline. What would you think about a sleepover on the trampoline? That would be so much fun. We can invite like some of our neighborhood friends and just have a giant sleepover on the trampoline, have a bunch of snacks. That would be so much fun. Although the more that I think about that, we don't have a lot of time for it. it's gonna get too cold. So we might have to make this trampoline sleepover happen sooner than later. Maybe you'll see a vlog on it. other favorite fall things to do? Making crock pot hot cocoa. It sure is. When I saw that the weather was gonna be chilly today, I literally ran to the grocery store this morning because I knew it was the perfect day to bring back our favorite crock pot hot chocolate, which comes out many times during the winter, usually beginning in October. So I was like, I didn't want Sandy seems to be hovering really close by, doesn't she? Yes, I think she's. I think she wants some hot cocoa. I think she does too. Maybe the marshmallows are called. Hey, don't eat all the marshmallows! I'm not gonna have any for me. I think you have a little bit of a mustache. Another thing we do on our Tic Tac Toy Family channel every fall, right before Halloween, is we do a Halloween costume reveal. So. I think we're gonna do that pretty soon so you can find out what Addie and Maya are going to be for Halloween. And I'm hoping Colin will be home soon. He has been at a sleepover with his grandparents, but I know he wants to show you his Halloween costume too. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for the official Halloween fashion show. First on the runway, we've got Maya. Here she comes, we see hot pink. Oh, Maya, I'm loving it. Tell us, what are you wearing today? I'm the like cowgirl Barbie from the Barbie movie. From the Barbie movie, we've got the cowgirl hat. Very cool. The bandana, and of course, all the hot pink attire you could possibly put on. Next on the runway is Addie, who happens to be in a costume with Jason. Let's see what they're gonna be for Halloween. 
Oh, here they come. Oh, yeah. I see a lot of orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you two it's are. McLaren orange. Yeah. McLaren orange. Mm -hmm. Addie, what, explain this to us. Um, McLaren is a race, an F1 race team. So we're McLaren fans. So I think what really happened here is Addie and Jason love to watch F1 racing. Mm -hmm. And they just want an excuse to buy a bunch of merch. Yep. <laughs> Am I correct in that? Yeah, that pretty much sums it yeah, up. Pretty much. <laughs> Colin is not back from his sleepover yet, so his portion of the fashion show will come a little bit later. But our foster daughter has a pretty cool outfit that she wants to share. However, you really can't get the full effect unless we're in a dark room. So we're going to head inside to the playroom, turn the lights off, and reveal her Halloween costume. All right, lights off, girls. Make it dark in here. Okay, it's really pitch black. Where are you? Oh, there it is. We've got a stick man. <laughs> Love it. Let's see dance. <laughs> and stick man has got moves, guys. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that we have another tradition that we do every time Halloween rolls around, and that is that we like to boo our neighbors. My, what does it mean to boo our neighbors? So booing your neighbors is where you like usually put together a basket of treats and like Halloween themed candy and stuff, and you go and you quietly go sneak up put it on their door, and you can knock if you want to, or you can just leave it there and run away. And you don't want them to know it's you. And then sometimes they'll like, if they're like your friends or like your neighbors, they'll probably ask you like, were you the one who booed me? And you'd be like, maybe. Right, and the goal is that the people that you boo then continue the tradition and they boo to other people and those people boo to other people and hopefully by the time Halloween rolls around, everyone has been booed and they have this sign on their door that says, we've been booed. So it's just a fun way to spread some Halloween cheer. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick peek at some of the things we put in our boo baskets this year. We have a trick or treat cookie sandwich, so they could do a little bit of bacon. Those look delicious. We have a little bat headband. Yes. Super fun. Okay. And what else do we have? Flashing necklace. Ooh, gotta love those. And we have um, some squishies. Oh, yeah, I squishies. love these. These squishies. Squish these are awesome. <laughs> All sorts of candy, right? Mm -hmm. And then what's this game, Addy? Pumpkin Pad goes to the Halloween Yes, we like that game. It's so much fun. But we've never played the Halloween version. Mm -mm. <laughs> so now it is time to sneak out and try to deliver these boo baskets without getting caught. Can we do it? I don't know, I sure hope so. Okay, ready? So we're going to our friend Charlotte's house first and we're getting ready, going up the hill. Got the cat basket for delivery. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So far, so good. They're running back right now. Just put it on the doorstep. Let's see if they think they got caught. Okay, okay. All right, how'd it go? How'd it go? Good. good. I don't think it's lost. I saw that the kitchen light was on. Okay. But that's. Okay. They won't be able to see us. Phew, phew. Good job, girls. Let's go. Let's go. Heading off to our second stop in the neighborhood now. And for this house, they've got to go up a really big hill to deliver the basket. Pumpkin basket ready? Yep. All right, girls, go for it. It's going to be hard. <laughs> it's a big hill, but you can do wish it. Wish us luck, okay? Good luck. Keep going. Don't get caught. First one seemed to go well. This one seems to be going okay. I just hope no one's standing by a window or maybe sitting on the front porch or you know, anywhere where they can hear someone approaching. Okay, so I'm pretty sure their doorbell is a motion sensor, so we'll say like on the phone, like um, motion at your front door. So we ran down the hill, we like sprinted so fast. Look who's it's here! It's Sea Bear! I think this is Maya's. How was your sleepover? It was great. It was great. You've already got like Halloween jammies on. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> we just pulled up back home and saw Colin in the driveway. Colin, come here. I gotta tell you what we're doing. What? We are showing our Halloween costumes. Would you show your us your Halloween costume? What are you this gonna be? Is it. You're gonna wear your pajamas for Halloween? Yeah. I thought 
we were gonna be different from Gravity Falls. No. No? Oh, I guess we changed our mind. Well, we have a Dipper from Gravity Falls costume, but at this moment, I guess we're wearing our skeleton PJs to go trick or treating. Maybe it'll change by the time Halloween rolls around. It seems to change daily. <laughs> so I'm realizing that everyone has a Halloween costume except for me and Sandy. What do you guys think I should be? I think you should be the cowgirl Barbie with me. <laughs> oh, really? Big size. Or you should be a skeleton with Colin. And I think Sandy should be a pumpkin. A pumpkin? Get a little stem on her head. Oh, that like would be pretty cute. a little headband cute. and a little pumpkin on her back. What are your thoughts, Daddy? I think you should be Elsa. <laughs> and I think Sandy should be a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a pretty cool hot dog costume. Well, we sure hope that you and your family have a fun-filled Halloween and that you enjoy some yummy, delicious Halloween treats. And we'll see you guys next time on Tic Tac Toy Family. XOXO! Bye! Thanks to Spring Free Trampoline for sponsoring this video.